All right, so for this video, guys, we're gonna be—I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I tie my uh, top producing nymph here, and that would be this just a simple little pheasant tail jig. For this video, I'm gonna be tying a size 16 jig with a copper tungsten bead. That's a 2.8 millimeter tungsten bead, and then the dubbing is the most essential part for this fly, I think, which is this ice dub peacock black. Uh, you can't beat this. Any fly that I put on, it just is like a top producing fly for me. Then you're going to need small ultra wire copper and of course your pheasant tail fibers. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we're going to start by putting the tungsten bead on our hook here. Uh, this is a little trick I like to do. I just sometimes if it's smaller, I'll put this um, the hook in upside down just to pop the bead on and then switch it around once I get it put on. and pop it in there and tighten it down and then we're just going to go ahead and start our black thread take it just back to the hook bend there go ahead and cut off the excess and this is a size 16 here so um, I use three pheasant tail fibers for all of my pheasant tails or actually any any nymph that I'm tying uh, with pheasant tail fibers, I like to use three for the tail. So just make sure the tips are lined up. Go ahead and take a few light wraps. And then at this point we're going to, you know, just pull the tail to the correct length. Make sure you like it there. And then I like to take pretty tight wraps all the way up to the, the top of the bead and then you can just pull that the rest of the pheasant tail off there. Next you'll grab your small copper wire. If you're tying a bunch of these you can take a bunch of wire off all at once. This is just an extra piece that I had laying from last time I was tying. And um, to get an even body I always tie my wire in at the front and wrap it all the way back to the tail. And then we'll just let that hang. Then for the body on size 16's pheasant tails, I use four pheasant tail fibers. And if I'm tying size 18's, I will use three pheasant tail fibers. Uh, just like my preference. You can probably get away with three on each if you wrap it correctly. We're gonna ahead, make sure the, the tips are pretty lined up. It won't matter if they're not perfect. Go ahead and tie them in at the tips here. Just a few light wraps. And then go ahead and pull them. I just like to pull them just so that they're a little less than the bead. So that they, it'll make, again, uh, keep the, the fly even. And then at this point, once we get those tied in correctly, go ahead and make tighter wraps, touching all the way up to the front of the bead. And since I don't have a rotary vise, what I do is each, each wrap I make around the hook, I just hold the pheasant tail in place and it also helps with like just making sure that it's um, lined up correctly wrapping up the fly gives you nice touching turns and once you make it to the top go ahead and just make a few wraps to hold that in place and then you can come in with your scissors and cut off the excess there And then with your copper wire, you're going to counter wrap this. Usually I like to give about three or four segments. Looks like with this one we can probably do about four. And this is, um, this is a little trick that I, I learned on Tightline. But um, Tightline Video or Tightline Flies, I forget what the name of his uh, channel is specifically. So what you do here is you you cross the thread and the wire when you're counter wrapping. So this is so that the, the copper wire still stays tight, but you cross them and then you take your thread backwards for a few turns. And then you cross them back and your thread can go the, the correct way. And then you can helicopter off your wire, but it keeps it nice and tight um, while still allowing you to, to uh, counter wrap. Then we'll take our Ice Stub Peacock Black. And for this, you don't want to get a lot. 
like I'm talking a small amount just enough to make like one and a half maybe one wrap around the fly I don't like real big collars on my flies sometimes I'll if I'm in a rush tying like a bunch I will accidentally build up like a few bigger collars and then when I go to get the flies out when I'm fishing I'll notice it but I mean it's not too big of a deal but it's just like a personal thing for me uh, small little holler on the fly go ahead and wrap that tight on there and then I don't like building up a lot of bulk on the fly so once that dubbing is wrapped around there I don't even mess around with any more like thread wraps to hold it in place I just come in with the whip finisher give it a nice solid four three turn whip finish pull the thread tight go ahead and snip off the excess there then the last part I with all my flies I like to put a little bit of head cement um, I just found that it makes them a lot more durable I've had flies that I before when I used to not put head cement uh, or super glue sometimes I use super glue mainly for like streamers or something where it's the super glue when it dries it doesn't like mess up the fly for smaller flies like this uh, I use like some sort of actual like fly head cement or what I'm going to use here is UV cure so and I use a toothpick uh, I like putting it I don't like the brushes that it comes with I think they're still a little too big uh, so what I do here is I get a toothpick grab a little bit out of the bottle and go ahead and just work it on there like that and then we'll go ahead and give it a shot of UV and sometimes I'll dry these for like 30 seconds I know a lot of people I've watched videos where they'll just give it a shot of UV for like five ten seconds I like kind of holding it on there for a while I feel like it I, I've noticed that the, I mean the longer you hold it on here the better it's gonna dry and be less tacky so so there's our finished fly uh, again this is one of my top producers uh, I know it's pretty simple I'm, I'm sure you could find this pattern pretty much anywhere on YouTube I feel like the the one thing that I have never seen though with these pheasant tails is this ice dub peacock black I feel like this is the essential part of this fly for me any any fly that I put this ice dub peacock black on it just seems to be like a a really top producing fly um, I'll never tie my pheasant tails with anything but this or some of the other patterns that I use this with this stuff is just magic and it's a lot more durable than um, actual peacock I hate using peacock because you know a few hits from a, a rock or a fish and it's already falling apart and some of the fibers are falling out so definitely this dubbing makes this fly like super durable again you can find this fly anywhere it's just that my I mean this is this fly has probably caught at least 50 to 60 percent of all of my fish on nymphs and um, so I just thought I'd give you show you guys my take on this fly uh, it's basically you know it's super simple you can tie up like 15 of these in no time Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I know this is pretty simple. Let me know if it, you'd like to see me tie any other flies in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. And then leave a like on this video. Helps keep my morale up. It shows me that you guys enjoy these and want to see more. Peace.